What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel now. Ben Armstrong, BitBoy Crypto, Lambos and Houses. What is it all about? Well, we're going to take a look at whether he is needed in the space. Obviously, all the drama unfolding with Hit Network as well has his new channel and what is coming up next week. We're going to break it down for you in this video so you know exactly what's happening in the cryptocurrency market. So make sure you subscribe for more. Leave a like on this video. That's how we know you enjoy the content. And with that being said, let's get into what is going on with it. So we have had some development with BitBoy Crypto. Now we know that that is no longer the a case. BitBoy is no longer here. We have Discover Crypto on one side and we have the Ben Armstrong channel on another. And it's going to be a really interesting battle between those two. What does it look like? We know that Ben's waiting for equipment. He did a video earlier on, 52,000 views in which he talked about getting his live streams ready and things going on in the background. What is this in relation to? Is there official court cases? Well, we might just have an answer for you in this video. So we do know that Hit Network moved on. They got rid of BitBoy Crypto and they are now Discover Crypto. We're in this together. We support Ben Armstrong and wish him the best and we are moving forward. A very political statement and they have to say that because they actually don't feel that. We know that's the case. But a lot of mixed responses from the community, a lot of the community supporting Ben Armstrong, which is very surprising given kind of the back end of his tenure there at BitBoy Crypto, how kind of crazy he was and the things he was getting into, but a ton of support. Why? Because people got into cryptocurrency because of him. Now, a lot of people will say he wrecked a lot of people, whatever. Fundamentally, a lot of people came to this space through individuals like BitBoy Crypto. And who knows whether he will change his new narrative on his channel. I'm pretty interested to see how that comes out and what he's talking about. But we do know that Discover Crypto has moved on. Now, whether this will still have the same impact as BitBoy Crypto, did you know given the kind of production quality given just ben armstrong being him it's really important that you have a front man it's like a great band it always has to have a front man with all the people doing the work in the background ben kind of came out and said he's got an emergency hearing today we should know by tuesday where this goes i've been asked to advise not to comment and so i'm going to be jumping off until then by next week we'll know the direction I appreciate everyone's patience now i think this is a really interesting statement from ben emergency hearing think of the word hearing what does that mean well that could be initial court hearings that could be financial hearings if you were having mediation which he talked about in his video then you're going to have mediation it's a really simple word i deal with some of this stuff in my everyday life in my work and i think it's a really important statement that he says a hearing today that for me is absolutely some sort of court relation now we do know that he was the massive you know the majority shareholder of hit network as well as the bitboy crypto channel he founded them fundamentally so there's going to be a monetary aspect attached to it of course there is and equally loss of earnings and revenues now we do have this article here and it says in the coming weeks both parties are expected to present their cases shedding light on the events leading up to the alleged takeover the court will then have the challenging task of weighing the evidence and determine whether the defendant actions indeed constituted corporate theft or if they were legitimate reasons for the change in ownership and content now we do know that you know the back end of kind of bitboy crypto's time at the channel he was kind of on a one-man crusade after sbf he was kind of suing people it all just got a little bit crazy and look this space is crazy it's incredibly pressured and when you live your life by views and acceptability then it's a really hard place to be it says whether the final verdict may be the lawsuit serves as a stark reminder of the importance of clear and transparent corporate governance in the cryptocurrency and digital media sectors these industries continue to evolve and gain prominence the need for legal safeguards to protect the rights of founders and investors becomes increasingly vital and that's absolutely true we know the sec is on a one-man crusade to fix cryptocurrency as well as just ensuring that there is corporate governance over these businesses that operate in the the Web3 world. In the end, the outcome of the legal battle will have far-reaching consequences, not only for Ben Armstrong and Hit Network, but also for the broader cryptocurrency ecosystem. And this fundamentally sits with new investors, retail investors that are coming in the market right now. You know, it's a really challenging market. BTC 26.5 had a nice little run, but he's on a pull down. ETH at 16.26. We are so far away from any kind of topping out new bull runs, whatever you want to call it. These are the times when people may look to pick, take positions up. And these are the people, Ben Crypto, Discover Crypto, all these accessible channels where people are getting in. I think it's really important. So these court cases, I think, are being discussed. I definitely think if there isn't a reach on monetary value, I could definitely see this being dragged through the houses. Could we even end up with another similar case like XRP? Who knows? But I, for one, will be watching it. I'm interested to see how BitBoy Crypto, aka the new Ben Armstrong, comes out. And more importantly, what is his channel about? Is it going to be on the same narrative? Is he going to be talking about the cryptocurrency? And it's like, fundamentally, does he know what he's talking about? I think there's a lot of debate there, but this one will gain arms and legs. This one will be watched wider by the cryptocurrency market to see exactly what is going on. But 
What's my view? Well, we need people like Ben Armstrong in the space for his character, for his enthusiasm, for his passion for cryptocurrency. Maybe not so much the projects that haven't worked out, but these are the people that have, that drive accessibility, they drive accountability, and they drive people uh, to the space. What our jobs are, educate, embrace, and ensure that people are set for the future. But let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of the whole BitBoy situation? Do you think Ben Armstrong is just going to continue being the new BitBoy V2, or do you think there's a different narrative coming? As ever, thank you so much for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and check out some of the links in the description if you want to bag yourself some great bonuses on some fantastic outstanding exchanges out there and as ever thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye